we will continue about closed loop control system. <coughs> In open loop control system, we have a reference input, then controller, then system, then output. There is no sensor. In closed loop control system, there is a connection from output to input with the help of feedback. Feedback is also called sensor, that is negative feedback. We have two types of feedback. One is positive feedback, other is negative feedback. But 99% of the systems in practical control systems are designed with negative feedback. Positive feedback rarely we are using. The two electronic students are known effectively. Positive feedbacks are using in oscillators to maintain high gain. We will discuss the differences between positive feedback and negative feedback. Step by step, slowly I will proceed, right? Let us concentrate about negative that closed loop control system with negative feedback. See, first point. What is the first point in closed loop control system is there is a connection from output to input. There is a connection from output to input. Hence it is, whenever there is a connection from output input, it will become a closed loop. Hence it is called closed loop control system or automatic control system because there is a feedback or feedback control system. Second one, control action, control action depends on output. Control action is depends on output because there is a sensor to sense and control the output and is controlled automatically and is controlled automatically. Let us take air conditioner, AC, example of closed loop system is AC, air conditioner. Air conditioner is functioning according to the temperature of the room. Air condition is functioning according to the temperature of the room. Whereas fan is there, fan is not functioning according to the temperature of the room. If room temperature increasing or decreasing, fan is rotating by same speed, more or less, reason no sensor. Whereas air conditioner is functioning according to the room temperature. If room temperature increases, air conditioner will be, will be reducing the temperature and increasing the coolness. If room temperature is decreasing, air conditioner is increasing the temperature. That means there is a balance between room temperature and air conditioner because of sensor because of sensor. How it is going to be operating or how it is going to be manipulating output, output of the AC, output of air conditioner is comparing with room temperature with the help of sensor. Sensor is automatically absorbing. If any difference is there, see, if any difference is there, automatically what is producing here, error is producing. The error is corrected by controller. Error is corrected by controller. How error is producing? Output is fed back to this reference input with the help of feedback. Input minus output will create error. That error will be corrected by controller. The controller, sir, integral controller is there, derivative controller is there, or integral plus derivative controller is there. We will discuss one by one in time response analysis by that. When controller is eliminating the error, automatically system output is more desired output or more accurate output, right? Now, in this way, control action is depends on output. Example is AC. Now, because of feedback, it is comparing output signal with input signal. Error is creating here. The error is corrected by controllers. Whenever error is corrected by controllers, definitely output is having more accurate. Output is more accurate right now. Second one, it is comes under advantage. The disadvantage is as there is a sensor, it is difficult to design. Whereas previous case, simple to design. More careness is required to design the sensor, right? It is difficult to design, very complex to maintain. Without sensor, easy to maintain, but sensor is there, it is most sensitive part. Always we have to be required caring. That is the reason why complex to maintain. Because of sensor, it is high cost or low cost? No doubt high cost. No doubt it is high cost. Fourth point, if feedback is applied properly, sensor is working properly. If feedback is applied properly, system stability increases. 
for improper feedback system stability radius for improper feedback system stability radius see you people are listening control system class all you people are having sensors when i am teaching particular concept your feedback is towards my listening means your sensor is towards listening perfectly you will become more stable automatically your accuracy and everything will be enhancing if feedback that means you are thinking about other things automatically your stability will affect means oscillations are increase oscillations are increase or else i am speaking in mobile i am going to cross the highway the vehicles are coming very fastly if i am not applying properly if i am not applying my properly my signal automatically the vehicle hit me if i am observing all the vehicles and i am i am not speaking in the mobile if i am applying my feedback is very properly automatically vehicle will pass away after that i will cross the road very gentle manner right that means if sensor is proper automatically system stability increases if sensor is improper system stability reduces right next one more most important point is sensitivity variations at the output can be minimized by applying proper feedback if you see this statement you will understand so many things sensitivity variations means variations in output can be minimized by applying proper feedback see always we have to reduce the variations in output if variations in output in increases automatically the system will collapse it will become like a open loop system always we have to reduce the variations in output or we have to minimize the variations in output by applying proper feedback like i am teaching control system class all you people are commenting from back side for your comments for your comments i am not replying i am applying proper feedback automatically i will become positive i will try to give best output still suppose instead that one person is made a small disturbance which is negligible for that negligible distance i am reacting more and more or i am disturbing more and more by that i am shouting that person that is most sensitive that is most sensitive that means i am a most sensitive guy reason i am not applying proper feedback even though the disturbance is at peak level i am not at all get disturbed that means my sensitivity is less reason i am applying proper feedback one more thing aishwar rai amitabh bachchan salman khan all three people are attended one function suddenly salman is looking aishwar rai now aishwar rai and abhishek bachchan both are couples salman is looking aishwar rai and started smiling if aishwari also started smiling by looking salman khan if abhishek bachchan is applied proper feedback then you can understand normally if he is applied improper feedback definitely he will become more sensitive he will become more sensitive that means always the desired one is we require less sensitive but not more sensitive we require less sensitivity but not more sensitivity the less sensitivity can be obtained by applying proper feedback right this is about closed loop system once again i am repeating closed loop system in closed loop control system there is a connection from output to input and second one control action is depends on output because there is a sensor to sense and control the output by comparing input and output signal error is creating the error is corrected by controllers the controllers are pi pd pid controllers 
by that system output is more accurate. Because of sensor, it is very difficult to design. Because of sensor, it is complex to maintain. And due to sensor, it is also high cost. If feedback is proper, system stability increases. If feedback is improper, system stability reduces. And if feedback is improper, variations or sensitivity variations at the output is more. If feedback is proper, sensitivity variations at the output is less. Always we require less sensitivity system, but not more sensitive systems. And one more thing. Someone is commenting me or someone is ragging me. I am not at all affecting for the ragging. Even the ragging is very vulgar. I am not at all affecting for the ragging means I am more less sensitive, not sorry, I am less sensitive system. Even for small disturbance for me, I am started shouting or crying so badly that is more sensitive system that is reflecting my native shade, right? Less sensitive reflecting positive shade, more sensitive reflecting negative shade. We required less sensitive system in design of control system, but not more sensitive systems, right? Now we will see which is the best system with respect to India. Closed loop control system. First of all, it is open loop control system without sensor. There is no sensor. There is a preset time 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 60 seconds. Next, closed loop control system. There is a sensor in closed loop control system at the junction. It is most sensitive. It is having one electronic circuit here, right? It will take a lot of time. In MTech level, we will discuss what are the things present inside of the sensor, right? Next. Each and every side of the roads at the junction will have cameras that will be connected to sensor, that will be connected to sensor. It is not a preset time here. Here the, set, the time will not be set pre, uh, previously, but here there is a preset time because there is no sensor here. See, in this case, a buffalo is coming in this road. Buffalo is walking, you know, buffalo is walking or running at the rate of 0 km per hour. That means it is very slow, very, very, very slow. A bicycle is moving on this road, which is 10 km per hour. A bike is moving in this road, which is 50 km per hour. Along with that, RD car also moving, which is 120 km per hour in Indian roads. In Indian roads, different vehicle, different speed of vehicles are moving in the same road. Therefore, people are adjusted according to that and moving slowly or fastly. If anything is happened to Buffalo, definitely there is a case against that person who is heated. But whereas comes to abroad, some of the countries which has developed, they are maintaining different roads for different speed of vehicles. 10 to 20 kilometer vehicle has to move in this road. Greater than 20 has to move in this road, greater than uh, 20 to 60, or uh, greater than 60 has to move in this road, greater than 120 has to move in this road. There are different roads for different speed of vehicles. There, if any vehicle, that low speed vehicle is coming to high speed road, if any accident, there is no problem for them. But as India is unity for all the people, it is concentrating about each and every one as a great country, it will consider about all. Any accident, definitely the person has to go prison, right? That is a great thing about country. That is a bad thing about other countries. Next, second one, 
all cameras are working and is giving signal to sensor assumption here vehicles are more is closed loop control system because sensor is there it is open loop system there is no sensor here vehicles are more automatically camera will camera will take the pic immediately it will give the sensor sensor will count the number of vehicles immediately with fraction of time fraction of seconds automatically based on number of vehicles it is giving more time here number of vehicles are less it is giving less time within less number of time within less number of time or with less number of time with less time all number of vehicles are crossing the junction here we are saving the time here more time is there and more number of vehicles are there therefore all vehicles are crossing the junction signal by taking more time but here yes, there is no sensor it is a preset time for all the sites here vehicles are more unable to cross the junction within 60 seconds here vehicles are less still time is uh, wasting 30 seconds all vehicles are crossing the junction remaining time it is wasting the time that is the reason why it is less accurate system it is more accurate system here as there is no police there there is no police and there is a preset time and people are adjusted for this preset time if any problems are there already we are adjusted we are adapted for that problems but here people are moving by very comfort zone with the help of sensor if sensor automatically fails immediately due to some problem sensor is becoming more sensitive it fails to operate immediately at the time this high speed vehicles will may hit another side vehicles there is a chance of more hitting accidents that's why indian control system is preferring open loop system whereas some abroad companies are preferring closed loop control system for this is best for us and is also cheap even though it is less accurate not that is not least accurate less accurate a somewhat less accurate compared to that but it is more stable without any disturbance compared to that if any disturbance are there that will become unstable or stability less sensor is fails definitely stability started reducing very low level value right here sensor is not there without any disturbance will maintain high stability this is the major difference between open loop system and closed loop system <coughs> now we have understand what is the difference between closed loop system and open loop system so far we have studied what is mean by system what is mean by control system types of control system so far we have understand we have understand the systems that is open loop system closed loop system to analyze these systems we required some mathematical tool to analyze the systems we required some mathematical tool which is called transfer function right what is why mathematical tool is required is to understand physics is very difficult to understand that same physics by analyzing by mathematical mathematics that physics will become very simple that's what called engineering what is minimum engineering is application of mathematics into physics is called engineering right therefore in this physical block diagrams or in this physical systems i have to introduce mathematics the mathematics is called transfer function right now right what is a mathematical model right now i am introducing the subject is transfer function transfer function <coughs> simply tf what is transfer function is it is a mathematical model it is a mathematical model to explain about system physical behavior what is transfer function is it is a mathematical model to explain about system physical behavior next if you take simply system <coughs> or control system initially we have input initially we have input then we have output input is one form output is another form according to law of conservation of energy just i have explained before according to law of conservation of energy energy can't be created or can't be destroyed it can be converted one form to another form that means input is one form output is another form with the help of system that means 
indirectly system is transferring the energy from one form to another form therefore system itself is called transfer function as system itself is called transfer function automatically it will have relation with input and output it is having relation with input and output i am going to say finally two points transfer function is a mathematical mode mathematical model to explain or to discuss about system behavior physical system behavior and second one it is it is giving the relationship between input and output of the system right finally the definition of transfer function is it is the ratio of it is the ratio of laplace of output to the laplace output to the laplace of input by assuming initial conditions are zero the definition of transfer function is it is defined as ratio of laplace of output to laplace of input by assuming initial conditions are zero according to mathematical standards or fundamentals input is always cause therefore is written in denominator output is always effect that will be written in numerator right now second doubt is why sir mathematical that means control system is discussed means mathematical means transfer function why sir you have a doubt why sir control system is discussed in laplace domain but not time domain the reason behind this is in time domain we can't multiply two signals like reference input and control output we can't multiply two signals reason variation of this input signal variation of this output signal will not vary according to or linearly or proportionally because time varies with respect to signal and similarly we can't divide two signals either r of t by c of t or c of t by r of t we can't divide these two signals in time domain because with respect to time the signals may vary in different direction different values but not proportional values but not linear values but in frequency domain means frequency domain means laplace domain frequency is constant as frequency is constant we can divide the two signals or we can multiply the two signals as well and, and one more thing for the throughout the discussion we have to keep the parameter as a constant the parameter constant what i am keeping is frequency that's why today power small is working under constant frequency but not under variable frequency right that is the reason why we are discussing control system in s domain but not in time domain s domain is nothing but frequency domain which is also called laplace domain right next what is mean by initial conditions see as we are all electrical family there are three major elements in electrical family what is that is resistor inductor and capacitor see voltage across resistor is 10 volts immediately it appears as 20 volts no doubt resistor is immediately accepting the change in voltage from 10 to 20 now initially current flowing through resistor is assumption 5 amperes suddenly current is reduced to 2 amperes that means the reduction current or the increase in current will suddenly accepted by resistor that means finally what i'm going to say is resistor can accept sudden change in voltage as well as sudden change in current reason it is not storing energy either in the form of current or neither in the form of voltage that is the reason why resistor can change can accept the sudden change in voltage and sudden change in current as it is accepting sudden change in behavior hence it is not a transient element it is steady state element in a steady state element there is no initial conditions or there is no initial disturbances therefore resistor will not have any initial conditions next coming to inductor initially across inductor 10 volts suddenly voltage across inductor will become 20 volts no doubt inductor can accept the change in voltage from 10 to 20 immediately the reason it's not storing energy in the form of voltage but initially current flowing through inductor is 5 amperes suddenly 2 amperes current is started flowing through inductor inductor does not allow the change in current from 5 amperes to 2 amperes inductor will try to allow the 5 amperes current after some time may it allow 2 amperes current that means inductor does not allow sudden change in current because it's storing energy in the form of current that is magnetic field therefore the inductor will have some initial conditions or initial disturbances due to change in current 
that is the reason why it is called as transient element next comes to capacitor capacitor is having a dielectric medium we know that in networks we have studied all these things across the capacitor initially i am assuming 10 volts now immediately i am applying 20 volts across the capacitor capacitor won't allow that sudden change in voltage because the directory medium does not able to uh, suddenly change the uh, charge accumulation therefore capacitor does not allow sudden change in voltage because it is storing energy in the form of voltage but when it comes to current initially current flow in the capacitor 5 amperes for ac i am speaking all these things ac but not dc please try to be assume all these things initially assumption 5 amperes current flow in the capacitor now suddenly current is changes to 2 amperes therefore capacitor can change the change in current can accept the change in current from 5 to 2 but it won't allow the change in voltage from 10 to 20 hence capacitor also is treated as transient element because it is not allowing sudden change in voltage maybe it will allow the slow change in voltage but sudden change in voltage is not allowed by capacitor sudden change in current is not allowed by inductor hence these two elements comes under transient elements whenever they have transient elements definitely they have initial disturbances due to change in behavior of current change in behavior of voltage that's why initial conditions are raised due to inductor and capacitor but not resistor in control systems so transfer function once again i am defining it is a mathematical model to discuss about physical block diagrams of control system it will give the relation between input and output and is defined as the ratio of lap loss of output to the lap loss of input by assuming initial conditions are zero the initial conditions are due to current flow in the inductor and voltage across capacitor right these things we are assuming it as zero that means the initial disturbances in the inductor due to sudden change in current the initial disturbances in the capacitor due to sudden change in voltage must be assumed as zero practically present but if assumed as zero so that the analysis will become easy in control stuff by using mathematical model called transfer function for that we are doing this assumption there are two types of control stuff one is classical control stuff other is modern control stuff in classical control stuff up to seventh topics mathematical modeling from first to seventh topics all comes under classical control stuff that is introduction, signal flow graph, stability, time response, root locus, frequency response, mathematical model. All these topics come under classical control system up to these topics, up to seventh topic. Initial conditions are assumed as zero. All assumptions are making. We are, we are moving classical control system with certain number of assumptions. When it comes to modern control system, this is a practical control system. In this, initial conditions will not be assumed as zero. We have to treat that is practical control stuff right there is a lot of subject still we have to understand we will move slowly to reach that position right now transfer function definition is it is a mathematical model first point second thing it will give the relationship between input and output and third one it is defined as ratio of lap loss of output to lap loss of input by assuming initial conditions are zero the initial conditions are due to sudden change in current through inductor, sudden change in voltage through capacitor, right? Those things will be assumed as zero so that analysis of block diagrams through transfer function is simple in control system, right? But practically in modern control system, these assumptions are not valid. We have to take as it is. That also we will discuss after 40 hours. Next. Transfer function, we have to discuss in transfer function means mathematical model. We have to analyze with respect to network analysis, second one, transfer function. with respect to mathematics transfer function with respect to signals and systems fourth 
ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫంక్షన్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు కంట్రోల్ సిస్టమ్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్ వన్ బై వన్ రైట్ నా ఫస్ట్ మ్యాథమెటికల్ మోడల్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లై నెట్వర్క్ అనాలిసిస్ ఈజ్ అ అప్లికేషన్ ఆఫ్ కంట్రోల్ సిస్టమ్ సెకండ్ వన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లై మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ థర్డ్ వన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లై సిగ్నల్స్ అండ్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లై టు కంట్రోల్ సిస్టమ్స్ now first transfer function with respect to network analysis right from this subject is most interesting basics are gone step 1 level we are entering like this one by one one by one we will clear all the things by so many shortcuts please be alert i am taking one electrical network with impedance z1 of s another impedance z2 of s input is va of s input voltage va of s everything will be under s domain laplace domain because frequency is constant output across this impedance is v not of s means voltage v not of s means output voltage current is flowing from input to output therefore current direction i am showing from input to output the current flowing through the network is i of s just now i explain the definition of transfer function is laplace of ratio of laplace of output laplace of output is v not of s to the ratio of laplace of input that is vi of s what is v not of s voltage across this impedance v not of s is this that means current flowing through that is i of s into z2 of s old the output voltage means impedance across this z2 of s because both are in parallel next what is vi of s according to kvl input voltage is equal to sum of the voltages across the impedances what is the current flow i of s what is the current flow i of s now tell me what is the impedance current i of s ohms law ohms law means voltage into current sorry current into impedance v is equal to i into z so i of s into z1 of s plus i of s into z2 of s as it is series elements current flowing through both elements are same therefore i am taking i of s common i of s i of s cancels numerator is z2 of s denominator is z1 of s plus z2 of s also i can say like this output impedance z2 of s is across the output therefore output impedance divided by sum of the impedance that is z1 plus z2 of s now tell me these two are frequency related terms numerator frequency term can be control system language can be written as zeros denominator frequency can be written as poles these are the names given by scientist numerators are represented by zeros denominators are represented by poles in stability i will give explanation what is mean by zero and what is mean by pole now this is the transfer function of the given network now i am interchanging the network elements i am taking z2 of s in place of z1 of s and i am writing z1 of s in place of z2 of s in place of z2 of s i am writing z1 in place of z1 i am writing z2 input voltage is same va of s output voltage also same v not of s current flow in the network also same that is i of s now what is transfer function transfer function is output voltage by input voltage now tell me what is output voltage is v not of s input voltage is va of s just now i have explained output impedance by sum of the impedance same concept i can write here what is output impedance z1 of s divided by sum of the impedance z1 of s plus z2 of s 
or Z2 of S plus Z1 of S will remain same. Now, numerator can be written as zeros, denominator can be written as poles. See here, friends, even though network elements are interchanged, internal elements are changed. In place of Z1, I written Z2. In place of Z2, I written Z1. Even though internally network elements are interchanged, the poles means denominator remains same. What is the denominator here? Z1 of S plus Z2 of S. They are also Z1 of S plus Z2 of S. But numerator, numerator means zeros. Here Z2, there Z1. Numerator can change, but not denominator. The most important conclusion from these two networks is, even though the network elements are interchanged, the poles remain same, but not zeros. Therefore, to discuss closed loop system stability, we are using the frequency concept called poles, but not zeros. Why means, in interview, if they are asking why you are utilizing poles means, you can explain like this, that is, even though we can interchange the network elements internally, the poles remain same, even though internal elements are changed, but zeros are not same. That's the reason why we are utilizing poles to discuss closed loop system, but not zeros. Most important point explained. This is not the complete answer. I have to still explain this answer at Nyquist plot. At Nyquist plot, I will end this answer. It will take another 35 hours to discuss that point. Now, simple point, what I explained here is, to discuss closed loop system, we are having two weapons. One is zeros, other is poles. But we are using only poles to discuss closed loop system stability, but not zeros. Reason, even though the network elements are interchanged, the poles remain same, but not zeros. That is the reason why we are using poles to discuss closed loop system stability. Now, one more example. I am taking completely resistive network. This is R1, this is R2. Input is VI of S, output is V0 of S. Current flow into the network, I of S. What is transfer function? Simple, output impedance. What is output impedance? R2 upon sum of the impedance. Direct shortcut, no more discussion. R1 plus R2, sum of the resistance. If you see here, Resistor is independent frequency up to one level. In other subjects, you will learn this. As resistor is independent frequency, the power of S in denominator is 0. What is S power 0? 1. Multiplying by 1 into R1 plus R2, results remain same. The power of S in denominator of transfer function is 0. As power of S in denominator of transfer function is 0, then it is called as order 0 system, order 0. What is the meaning of order is, highest power of S in denominator of transfer function is called order, here order is 0, reason, register is independent frequency, that is why it is called order 0 system. We will take break, we will continue.